Hey, welcome back everybody. We're still working on pallets today. On the last episode, we took those slats that we cut off the pallets and we ran them to the planer and got some perfectly flat faces on them. Those pieces still have really rough edges. I'm not sure how well you can see it on camera and the ends are not squared off either. So today we're gonna go ahead and square these pieces up so we can use them in projects. So in order to dimension this material a little bit quicker and easier, I made up a few jigs. The jigs will be used to help create a perfectly straight edge on one side and also get a perfectly 90 degree cut on the ends of the pieces. I didn't film the uh, making of the jigs because there's some really good channels and some really good tutorials out there that have already done that. But I will put a link in the description to the, to the videos that I use to help me create the jigs I'm going to show you today. So of the 11 pallets that I broke down, there's two different size slats. The largest of the two measures out to be about five and a quarter to a five and a half inches. <clears throat> the shorter pieces measure out to be about a three and three eighths to three and a half inches. So what I did was I created two different jigs one for each size to square off the edge. So here's the two jigs that I made to create a nice straight edge on one of the sides of each slat. This one I named the three and three quarter pallet joiner and this one is the five and a half inch pallet joiner. So we talked about this before but you can certainly use a hand plane to joint the edges of the material. The problem is, is I have probably 100 or maybe even 200 slats to process. It would be very time consuming to joint every piece using a hand plane. So what we have here is the smaller of the two uh, joiners. These are made to be used on a table saw. This jig works by riding within the groove that is built into your table saw, which is perpendicular. I'm sorry, it's parallel to the blade on your table saw. Each of the slats, and you actually, for this jig, can use two at a time, clamp into the jig like this. So I'm using these PowerTech horizontal quick release toggle clamps. Uh, to hold the material onto the jig and I found these on Amazon. I believe let's see when I purchased them for them was $19.99. I'll put a link in the description if you're interested in checking those out. So I decided to go with the table saw for joining these boards as I don't have a jointer. A jointer is a power tool that puts a perfectly straight edge on the material. You could also use a router to make a straight edge on the boards as well. And I have done that before when I made the uh, pizza peel. If you want to go back and check out that video, I'll put a, I'll put a card at the top. But that's how I jointed all of the boards that I laminated together, together to make that peel. Go ahead and I'm going to joint the edges of these two boards and show you how this works. So hopefully you can see I'm just taking some really small strips off of the edge of each piece. By doing that though I'm creating a perfectly straight edge that is parallel to the groove that is in your table saw. So once we have one straight edge on each of the slats we can take it out of the jig and then we can go ahead and run it through the table saw. Now I've already got my table saw set to three inches. It seems like the slats are the perfect uh, width once you join it to then cut it down to three inches and that will be uh, now that we have a nice parallel or, or a reference uh, edge there now we can create the parallel edge using the table saw without the jig. <laughs> 
So now what we have is we have a piece of, I believe this is cherry, and we have cut the uh, reference edge and then the parallel edge, and that measures exactly three inches on both ends. So this piece just needs to be squared off on each end and we'll have a perfectly dimensioned board. So the larger joiner works exactly the same way and I'm just using the bigger pieces on this one. They just clamp right into the, uh, into the jig just like the smaller ones do. The jig I just made out of three quarter inch uh, plywood and uh, used the clamps that we discussed before. For the rail on the bottom I used a piece of cherry that I had and I milled it down to the exact width of the of the uh, groove on the table saw So once we get the boards edged using the, the joiner sleds, now we need to actually cut the pieces uh, to length and to have a perfectly 90 degree uh, end on them. I made this table saw sled in order to cross cut the pieces to length and do that in a reproducible fashion. So the table saw sled works basically the same way as the joiner sleds do. The difference is, is that it has a fence here that is perfectly 90 degrees to the blade. So if you watch, I'm going to raise the blade up and the fence here is perfectly 90 degrees to that. And there's a bunch of complicated ways that you can line up the fence to your blade, but I just went ahead and used my frame and square. This is what I use for every project in the shop essentially. Um, so everything in here is basically built off of this square. Um, so I went ahead and just used that and it's certainly within the uh, tolerances that I'm trying to achieve. So now that we have these pieces ready to cross cut, we can go ahead and um, put it in the sled and make sure that our saw is tall enough to cut the material. I'm going to cut two at a time. Turn on the saw. Go ahead and make the cut. So I think those pieces turned out really good. Each of which has a really nice 90 degree cut on them. So now we can go ahead and take those pieces and cut them to length. So I'm not sure the length that I want for these pieces yet, but what I have here is I have a Craig um, stop that rides on a Craig uh, rail. And I'm, for, this, for the purpose of the video, I'm just gonna set that at 10 inches and uh, then we can make our cross cut. So it's pretty straightforward to make that measurement. I'm just measuring from the, uh, the cut that's in the sled, uh, demarking where the uh, blade will be, and then I'm, mar then I'm measuring over to my stop. So now I have this piece of oak that's perfectly flat, has two uh, perfectly 90 degree ends on it, and has two square edges as well. So I'm going to take a lot of this material and run it through these, these jigs and the table saw to create some really square uh, stock for the shop, and then I can use that for all sorts of different projects. If you're considering building with pallets, I'd strongly suggest to build yourself some, uh, 
some of these joiner sleds and also a cross cut uh, sled as well. Um, I think I probably have a total of about fifty dollars in building the uh, sled and the two joiner or the uh, cross cut sled and then the joiner sleds. Um, but I think I'll get a ton of use out of these, particularly with these pallets. Um, but this uh, crosscut sled will be used all the time for all sorts of different cuts. So I've got a ton of work to do to get all these pieces sort of milled up into usable uh, material. But I think it'll go pretty fast now that I've got a workflow set up. On the next, uh, on the next episode of the Pallet Wood Project, uh, we're going to go ahead and start gluing up some of these pieces into, into uh, panels and also into some stock that we can use for turning on the lathe. So, I hope you'll uh, stick around for that and uh, if you like these uh, pallet wood projects and you like these videos, be sure to leave a thumbs up so that uh, it'll let me and YouTube as well know that you like these videos. If you're new to the channel, this is the third video in a row on uh, pallet wood uh, building and uh, we've basically taken a pallet, broke it down into small pieces and then started milling it up and uh, then we're going to start building with it soon. So I think that's all the time we have for today guys. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you on the next video.